Elaine here with Charlie Trotter, and I must say it is a privilege to be here today with you. And as someone who strives for excellency in all areas of the culinary experience, today you're having a little soiree here at Restaurant Charlie about this book. Well, it's our newest uh, uh, effort in our management series of books, the first one being Lessons in Excellence, uh, the follow-up being Lessons in Service, and then finally Lessons in Wine Service. And, and um, this is probably the most um, specific regarding things that pertain to our, our world of food and wine and service. The other books, I think, have broader applications in, in a sense, where you don't even necessarily have to be in the restaurant or service business mm -hmm. uh, to, to take away some ideas. But this gets right to the crux of uh, food and wine pairing and, and, and proper storage and uh, the right kind of stemware and many things that would appeal to, I think, a professional or a very interested uh, amateur uh, wine mm -hmm. connoisseur. Mm -hmm. Well, with all the experiences you've had, wine is now just huge, especially here in Las Vegas. We have more master sommeliers in two square miles than anywhere in the world. Well, I know you do. So. <laughs> and, you, and you do realize that Charlie Trotter's restaurant in Chicago has, has produced more master sommeliers than any other restaurant on the planet. Well, that's so wonderful. Like a dozen people have come through our our program, Programs. in a sense, and, mm -hmm. and have become masters. So we're, we're mm -hmm. proud of the fact that we don't just emphasize the food. Uh, as a chef, of course, I'm going to do that, but, but also the service, but as our specialty, wine service and sommeliers. So we've had the great sommeliers. The only two uh, sommeliers to have ever won the World Sommelier Competition uh, from America uh, are Larry Stone and Joe Spellman, and each of those gentlemen spent five years working with us in Chicago. So. There you go, excellence all around, and I know that you're very much into educating people about food and wine, and I'm sure this is going to be a valuable book for many people around the world. Well, you have read it from front to back. Oh, of course. <laughs> Actually, I will be reading it front to back, but I am excited to, to meet you. And, um, you know, as someone that's in education and, you know, interested in education, this is kind of going off in a little direction that I, I really want your perspective on this. There's so many children coming into school that are obese. Mm -hmm. And if you could craft a document or give advice to people, what would you tell them as far as educating themselves and, and what is to eat properly and to be I nourished? Think, I think part of the obesity problem really uh, for young people is that there's a lot of indiscriminate eating and just eating whenever you want to have a snack or some chips or a, a Coke or, or, or something like that. And um, that's not good stuff. Those are not good calories. Those are things that begin to add, you know, unless you're very, very active physically in sports and things. But um, I, I'm coming from an era, you know, this, this is before your time, where a, a treat was like an apple or, or a banana or right, something. And, right. and it was never like a, a Hostess Twinkie kind of thing. And now... Mm -hmm. That's sort of the norm where you, you get, you know, kids going to the convenience store and getting big drinks, and but it's mainly sugar. And um, and it's also not adhering to the basic idea of three meals a day. You have, you have breakfast, you get off to school, right. you have a lunch at school probably, and then um, you might have a small afternoon, afternoon snack, and maybe that is a fr fruit. Or, or okay. every once in a while, I'm not saying everyone has to be so diligent about that, but every once in a while you, 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 could, you could indulge and have a ice cream bar or something um, and then you have dinner and now it's just sort of eating and, and eating things that are not so easy to digest that is uh, a food product that that is uh, made with a lot of processed things and mm -hmm. it's not even the calorie count even things that are light are made with food stuffs that are not as digestible mm -hmm. as, as just natural food products mm -hmm. well I think that that has got to be a goal in our country to actually educate the public on eating great food, you know, and now people come into your restaurant and they want a great experience. So what three things would you want someone coming into a Charlie, restaurant Charlie, for the first time, what do you want them going away with? When they leave, what would you like them speaking about or thinking about? Well, hopefully, and that's a good, thank you for that question. Um, when one were to leave restaurant Charlie, mm -hmm. um, uh, bar Charlie, um, 
even if they're just here for a, a, a drink at the bar, we want them to walk out saying, gosh, I was expecting a lot because we've heard of the reputation, and but this, this exceeded expectations. And that's the main thing. And regarding the food, we're always interested in, in providing things that have an element of recognizability, but at the same time, gosh, I never really, this is something different. I never saw this before. This is really interesting. So, um, and if one really has a lengthy, uh, lengthy uh, dining experience, either at Bar Charlie or Restaurant Charlie, um, they're still going to walk out feeling very good because we don't use cream and butter and it's very, even though it's it's fancy food, you know, quote unquote, mm -hmm. um, it's very accessible food and it's it's and it's digestible food. So. That's right. Well, I, I, I love going to Bar Charlie and every time I walk out, all I can think of is this, this is such an amazing culinary experience. Not only that, but I've seen culinary artistry around me and the chefs in your kitchen there are just we wonderful some of the best i've seen and it is truly i tell everyone if you're coming to las vegas or if you're going to be in other parts of the country where there is a your restaurant that you must go because it is an experience that is to be savored and enjoyed and embraced and i think providing these educational tools such as lessons in wine service and your other books, that you're actually helping to build that type of experience for, for everyone in the community. And I'm so grateful that you are here today in Las Vegas and take a few minutes with us here. It's my second favorite city in America. <laughs> yes, I think so. So <laughs> I cannot blame you for that. Anyway, it's been a privilege talking with you today, and thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Appreciate thank that. Thank you.